Uh, my name's Sean Kilmurray and I'm the course leader for the BSc Strength and Conditioning degree. We like to take students who've got that bit of a passion for, for conditioning and, and training and, and they show that, that they've got that interest in knowing how the body works and, and trying to understand that and then hopefully wanting to take that forward in terms of developing performance conditioning in individuals or within uh, a, a group, so within team sports for instance. Um, so they're, they're the sort of type of people we want to see. We want to see that sort of passion and that, that desire and keenness really. Um, and hopefully the, the sort of structure of the course will really sort of map to those sort of um, passions that they have and hopefully by the end of the course they feel as though they've, they've achieved what, what they've set out to. And we've got a few students who just recently graduated who are, are all sort of doing master's degrees, so uh, not necessarily in strength and conditioning, but in, in other aspects sort of related to sports science, sports coaching. So I think the opportunity for postgraduate study is there and one that they see as quite beneficial after having undertaken the degree. And I think all of those students are currently doing that um, whilst also involved in sort of the strength and conditioning field as well. So they're studying part time and, and carrying on with um, their actual professional career. Um, so I, I suppose around that we've got students who are working in, in professional environments, we've got some working in semi-professional environments but also then uh, doing some additional hours for in professional environments. So we've got quite a mix really, some who are employed, some who are freelance. Um, so there are, there are a number of opportunities to do once you actually, uh, to gain once you actually qualify. Well, I think within, within the course, the, we're really keen that students get um, a placement opportunity. Um, now, then that exists within the second year and the third year of the programme. Um, so we really do place sort of work experiences at, at a high level because obviously once they graduate, we want students to be able to say what they've done. Um, and those environments include sort of professional sports clubs. Um, for, for instance, we've got a good associations with Blackburn Rovers, Preston North End, um, also Wigan Warriors Rugby League Club so we've got some good opportunities there and some of those are uh, within modules but also there are some opportunities to work um, through the full season with some of those placements. Well there, is, there are opportunities built into the programme, I mean uh, as an example we had uh, one of our current third year students spent last year in the States as, as part of her degree so we were able to match the modules for her that she would have been doing in the second year and then she went to the States and undertook those there and I think those links with the States are ones that we're, we're really trying to develop because strength and conditioning has such a big profile over there and collegiate sport is, is again is so high profile that the opportunities for, for strength and conditioning within those areas are, are, are significant. We do have opportunities as well, we have some good links with La Manga in Spain uh, and again that's an area that we're looking to develop for strength and conditioning students as well as, as, well as coaching students. Well I think again we're, we're, we're very strong on trying to make sure that um, staff are involved in research and that does actually feed back into teaching so for instance some of the professional sports teams that we work with, um, again, of Wigan Warriors, um, Preston North End, Preston Swim um, Club, um, we're actually involved in undertaking testing and profiling with those teams. And what we actually do is then give students the opportunity to, to be involved in that. Um, so as well as sort of collecting data and, and research in some of those areas, we're able to sort of feed that back into teaching. Uh, we do quite a lot of work with EMG analysis and. Um, force plate analysis, so various kinetic and kinematic analysis as, as part of research studies. Uh, again another example looking at squat performance with varied ankle position and we collect an awful lot of data with that. Um, so we, we're trying to make students not think what's in the textbook specifically, obviously that's a foundation for them, but really to get them to think that you know there's a lot more research needs to be done, um, particularly within the field of strength and conditioning, and we really try and sort of develop that with, within the university with the staff that we have. We take a relatively small cohort in, um, and I think that that's really important because um, we don't take massive numbers in, we make sure that we, we're able to provide for those students within the cohort, so for instance, going back to work placement opportunities, that's something that we really put at the top of our priority, and I think that having sort of a smaller cohort allows us to sort of offer more for those students, where if we were taking 50, 60 students, we know full well that you know we wouldn't have that opportunity, so uh, that's, that's one key thing, we really put that as a high priority. Um, I think the other aspect, or one of the other aspects as well, is that we've got staff from a number of different backgrounds, so 
um, sports rehabilitators, physiotherapists, biomechanists, etc. So they really feed feed into sort of delivering quite a comprehensive program and one that we like to sort of feel is more at the at the edge of where strength and conditioning is. Um, you know, for instance, we look quite a lot at injury and in injury prevention and the role of the strength and conditioning within that. Um, and I think the links that we've developed within our professional sports clubs, I've uh, mentioned a couple of those, um, but also in the English Institute of Sport as well. Um, and we've got developed some good opportunities research-wise with uh, EIS as well. So I think we pulled together as a, as a staff team. We've got staff who are qualified um, through the UKSCA or the NSCA, and most staff are now. Um, those that aren't are sort of working towards that accreditation. So I think we, we feel as though that we tick most of the boxes for um, you know what we would want to see in a strength and conditioning degree.